Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Ade Dunke Gomina and this is SB Frequency Event. Yes, today I'm going to be talking about um, challenges that we face as regards to finances when it comes to clients. And I'm talking about this as regards purchase of equipment, rental issues, and so on and so forth. So in major um, programs or major events, you see situations whereby a lot of money is spent on planning the entire production. What I mean by that is you have guest artists, you have guest ministers flying all the way from foreign countries, you know, and, um, and all that money is spent on their logistics to come and present or minister or perform, but nothing is spent on sound. Yes, nothing is spent on the audio facility. And when your audio engineers come and meet you and say that, okay, we need to plan and um, rent some equipment or even buy some major equipment that will make the entire pro um, production or program successful, you see situations whereby um, they're, they're ignored and they're not listened to. And at the end of the day, a lot of money is spent on hotels, um, flight tickets, you know, to bring these people, but you don't have plans to help them perform or minister properly so that all your effort of them flying them down is actually wasted. So what's the point of inviting a guest minister all the way to your church or a pastor and he holds a microphone and as soon as he says, praise the Lord, right? Here, you know, Melodious feedback. <laughs> Melodious feedback. We end up hearing that. And at the end of the day, the purpose for which you brought him. Do you even know that bad sound distracts a lot of pastors? A lot of pastors, if they are actually preaching and they're building up and they just hear, Pew! They, some of them will forget everything they were trying to say and they have to get themselves back. So what's the point? in doing all that and you will not get good sound system or a good audio engineer to help you run the entire program. That should be your priority, not even any other thing. Sound should be the priority. Sometimes it's not the audio engineer's fault. You have equipment that needs to be serviced. You, you have amplifiers that are not working and they come and meet you and say, oh, please, we need to repair these things before the program. I've seen situations whereby you have guest ministers that are coming with um, talking dramas, you know, and they and in your normal services, you don't use talking drum. So for a talking drama, he needs a subwoofer, he needs a full range speaker that will give him enough sound as feedback, as, what I mean by feedback, as a monitor, right? So at the end of the day, you don't end up giving that that um, guest artist talking drama, all that, and you expect them to play. Now, and the engineer comes to meet you and says, oh, we need to rent this or, or we need to buy this for this guest artist that you're bringing up. And you ignore it and you say, no, 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 there's no money, there's no money, there's no budget for that. So what was the essence of the whole planning for the program? But you could plan to actually bring them in, but you could not include the plan of, of the sound system that they're going to use. A lot of guest ministers, singers, or even artists, when they come to events and the sound doesn't deliver properly, they don't deliver. They don't deliver. They just struggle with the performance. So at the end of the day, you end up getting 50%, sometimes even 20% of what they're supposed to have come to come and deliver at your event. And that is what makes your event spectacular. That is what will make people come back the next time you organize such an event again because they could hear what the guest minister was saying they could everything came out clean and crisp. so next time you have that same program they will come and they will attend it so please let us make sure that all these things are put in place before having any program event or production another reason why you need to pay for consultation when it comes to getting a consultant to actually advise you is because we have a lot of fake products in the market today right now we have a lot of fake equipment that are out there in the market alaba is filled with a lot of fake equipment so how do you know the equipment that are fake and the ones that are original is by contacting a consultant a consultant has years of experience a professional has used a lot of brands a lot of equipment they are not brand um, bias meaning that 
other people that are selling their, their own brands are just after marketing those brands to you. But a um, consultant has more experience and has used several brands to be able to advise you on which ones will last, which ones are actually durable, and you can now make your decision based on that. Now, um, a consultant will also come to your venue and advise you based on what is in your venue and what is unique to your own special services, to your own special events. For example, there's this line array craze that is going on everywhere. It's not every hall that requires line array sound system. So a consultant will come and advise you on how many boxes of line arrays if it's it's necessary for you to use line arrays or we tell you okay instead of us using line arrays let us use points or speakers in that particular venue so you end up saving money over time now some of you will say that okay a consultant is actually expensive but most consultants actually work with your budget you go meet a consultant and you pay like two naira right for a consultant to actually advise you to actually um, buy an equipment worth let's say 20 naira that will last you for six years do you get the old analogy so what actually happens to most of us is i can't i can't understand why you will spend millions of naira on equipment and you can't pay a token for consultation to make sure that those equipment are actually bought rightly Number one, those equipments are actually installed properly to avoid any form of damage, any form of um, accidents that can affect those equipments eventually. Eventually, you end up saving money instead of losing money. You know, it's like pennywise pound foolish. That is what this whole scenario is all about. There's the thing of buying equipment in phases. You don't have to sit down and buy everything you need at once. No, it can be planned for. Right? We have so a lot of churches that we've consulted for and they buy these things in phases. So for the first purchase, if your um, budget is actually um, less, let's assume 10 naira, for example, I keep using 10 naira, yeah. So if your um, budget is actually 10 naira, right? Um, and the equipment you're supposed to buy is 20 naira, then a consultant can advise you, okay, let us remove some of the amplifiers, you know, reduce some of the other microphones here and there, and let us buy these things in phases. So eventually you could be running at like a two year plan, like a three year plan, but eventually you would have equipment that will last you for six years, seven years, 10 years. I know of a lot of people that are using equipment for over 10 years, and those equipments are still working. They're still working really, really well. So a consultant has all that experience and that's the reason why you need to pay a consultant. It's very important. So please, I want to appeal to pastors. I want to appeal to, to um, event hall owners. Please contact a consultant. You don't have to call us. You can call any consultant, right? Contact a consultant so that that way you can save money and you don't end up losing money. I know I've mentioned that before, but I have to emphasize on this. Now, instead of going to call on a quack that calls himself an engineer, right, and, and is not a professional, you end up spending money twice. For example, if you buy an equipment of, let's say, 15 Naira, right, from a quack, right, at the end of the day, that equipment doesn't even last you for more than um let's say five six months then you end up going to call a professional to come and rectify the old situation and you have to buy that equipment over again so at the end of the day you end up spending money twice on the same equipment that you would have just bought once and you would have saved yourself the headache you would have saved yourself money yes money is very important we can't be losing money in this economy situation. So spend things right and spend it once and for all. You know, in, um, in um, professional productions, you would see them spend more money on the media production as you get sound, um, light, screen, stage, everything, video, compared to spending it on logistics because they understand the fact that the artist has to have a good sound system to actually perform. It's like um, planning an event under the rain. Now, I have seen some people plan um, events in this, in this raining season, and there's no plan for um, canopies to cover their sound system. They just plan for the stage to have a roof, 
but there's no plan put in place to actually plan in case if there's rain. You know, I've been on a production before whereby rain came and it fell on the mixer and, and a lot of equipment and it was a total disaster, you know. And um, some of us actually, like, um, like um, recently, we're actually um, planning another production and in the plan, a lot of money has been put into renting, getting equipment, you know, making sure everything goes well. And we had that conversation that, okay, we have to get a, a um, canopy to make sure that the um, front of our house mixer is well covered because it's an outdoor event. What I mean by outdoor, I don't really mean a stadium. I mean little events as small as like in a garden, um, in a field, you know, even an outdoor party, you have to plan to make sure that your equipment are well covered. And also for um, people that actually do outdoor events, outdoor crusades, you have to plan for the rain going into your um, subwoofers by dropping, making sure that all the subwoofers that you drop on the ground are on a raised plank. They, you can't just drop them directly on the floor. You have to plan for the rain. You have to have plans for um, thick linons, thick tarpaulins in case the rain starts to fall so you can cover all the equipment before all this happens. Now, as we get finances too, I'm back to it. Yeah, don't mind me. I can. I always try to be a bit technical and I keep drifting. But this time around, we're talking about money. Yes, money. So as we get money too, um, I don't know why we have clients that would not want to pay consultation. I don't even know why, why this should be something we should deliberate on. When a patient goes to the hospital, there's a consultation fee to see a doctor and drugs will be prescribed. And after that, you go to a pharmacist to go and get the drugs, right? So at the end of the day, even in the building realm, right? Even when bids are actually submitted, there's a consultation fee that has to be paid. In every field, they actually employ consultants to actually advise them and recommend these things to them. And those consultants are actually paid. So please, let's start doing things right in the audio industry. We have to sanitize the system. We're professionals. We don't do things the way other people do it. So in SB Frequency, we'll keep advising you. We'll keep um, telling you facts and truths about audio engineering and to make sure that you are well educated and for your consultation, for advice on, on your um, sound rental, sound system installations, and so on and so forth. You can always contact us or any other professional you have closer to you. We are actually closer than you think. So we plead with you. We plead with you, we beg you, our pastors, our clients, uh, our event planners, you know, all of you, we plead with you, we're begging you. Always call consultants, call us, call us for your events. It will make your, your production better and it will save you money in the long run eventually. When your production is better, you are the one that gets the glory, not us. It is you everybody will be talking about. They say, wow, your event was fantastic. So please spend this money, spend this money rightly, spend this money and call us to consult for you so that you can have a fantastic production. So thank you for watching our video. This is SB Frequency Events and my name is Ade Dunke Domina. Till next time, bye.